winter in Wyoming. Brr. Look at this. This is just crazy. We're just starting to see snow when we're down through the middle of Wyoming here now. The northern parts of Wyoming and Montana have zero snow. Like this is this is trucking. Look at this big four lane highway. There's like one, two, three, four, four vehicles on my side, three coming the other way. This is how it should be all the time. Just awesome. Well, we might as well record so then we can everybody can see that not everything goes to plan. That stuff's not supposed to be coming out there. So I just got a notice on my dash saying coolant very low. Bing, 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 bing as we're driving down the highway. Yeah, she's leaking somewhere. So I was able to pull off on this side ramp. Now there's got to be something blue somewhere. So all these hoses look good. It's not leaking out of them hoses. This is all the stuff that we just had fixed. It's coming from over there somewhere, I'm thinking. I just want to check all the stuff I just had fixed. And it's not that. Something's leaking somewhere. And it's on this side. This is where a lot of the coolant is coming from. Well, could it be that? It's just pouring out of there. Well, now that's what it is. See this? Look it. Look it. Clamp. Clamp just busted. That's the water pump. Nice. Huh. You know what? I don't even know if I carry that size. Huh. Let's see what I got. Dirty little son of a... So I just got it apart here. And look at it, it broke right there. So what I'm hoping is that this, so this it broke right here, the end of this clamp. So what I'm hoping is that it'll just reach and I can just super tighten it on there. So let's just see if that'll, if that'll work if I can get her in there. Let's see. Holy cow. So you can see it's just running out. I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's just running out of there. So I'm going to try this plug first, or this clamp first, so that I know I've got a plan B, and then I'm going to look for another one, because I'm sure I've got one that size. I just got to find it in my mess of stuff, right? So... We'll see if this old one works first. Hold on. Let's see what I can do here. It's not gonna go. That's kind of why you need all them other threads, but I just thought I'd give it a try. 
and of course it's coolant so everything's gonna be slippery and I can't get a grip on nothing I don't know if you can see but we're just just a hair away ah. well the hunt is on Definitely got enough coolant. I got a bad feeling though. I got all sorts of clamps for the little hoses, just not for the big hoses. Come on, tank. Glue? I don't know. Here's all my coolant hoses and air hoses for all the small stuff. Jumper cables. A glove. A glove. Like, where's the other glove? Spare water pump. That does you no good if you got no clamps. It's okay, it's okay, we're good now. I found the other glove. Okay, nothing on this side. Well, we tore them apart. We don't have those big clamps. So, what am I gonna do? I got some little clamps. Can you put little clamps together? To go around that big one? I don't know. We shall find out. We shall find out. Okay, well I know what I gotta fill up on. You know, as you go throughout your day, you, or your weeks and your months of trucking, you kind of forget what to replenish. You kind of forget what you need to replenish on your truck. Until, of course, you need it. Never fails. Hey, I wonder if I can take one of those off. We don't need those, do we? But I got a bunch of these, so I could probably use those. Uh, okay, let me work on this. Okay, so we got the two and a half is the biggest we got here. So I'm thinking if we put the two and a half and the two and a half together and then equally crimp them, maybe those will make three. I don't know. Let's check it out. All right. Come on.
Come on, really, really. Coley control guy had to throw him right in there or what? All right, the other one. All right. The best you can with what you got. I think those are three inch. So that, yeah, there's. I don't think there's going to be any way that's going to fit where that one is. Let me just check. I don't know if you can see or not, but yeah, there's no way that's going to go around there. Good gap there. So stretch these out. Put this guy in there. Do them even up. You just got to hold your tongue the right way to get them started here. There we go. Once again, just to get me on the road. about there need about like that so we'll do one quite a bit and then the other we won't have to do so much right Kind of want to try and make them so they're even. <laughs> so this much of this one is out this side, and this much is going to be about the same out this side. So we'll suck a little more in. I don't know. I'm thinking. It's not like I'm cooking off a recipe here. I'm just kind of thinking out loud. You want it to be a nice even grasp. And it's going to be about like that. You can see if I do that, I won't have many threads there. I still got lots here, so let's just make it a little bit smaller, even still. Okay, I think I got it. I think this is all nice so it'll grab in there like that suck her all in and let's see what we can do here well I hope you can see that so we'll just see what we can do here Come on, grab you, bitch. Atta girl. All right. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Tighten that up. Well.
you ever break down and you're filling that thing up, let it run a little bit with the cap off and then top it up after you've done that. And then top it up because then it'll, the coolant will run through the whole system because a lot of guys, you fill that thing up, put the cap on, then start your truck and go to work. It's going to tell you low coolant because you didn't let it circulate. Well, I tell you what, that's kind of holding. Well, I'm not too keen on these clamps I had. Luckily, I had four. Because this is the first attempt. And they're just cheap clamps. You can see they're breaking right there. So I tightened them and they just, they would just uh, come loose. Right there. Where are you here? So, good thing I had four, because those ones are holding now. These ones must have been made on a Monday, and these ones are made on a Friday, so that's how it works. Well, here's hoping. How long was I sitting here for? Well, two hours, but that's more because I got so much junk in each of these drawers, it just takes a long time to find. And if you're not blowing clamps all the time, you you keep them in the bottom because you're not using them every day. So we still got daylight. We still got a load on, so we still got work to do. I'll keep you informed on how it's going. Well, there's nothing worse than... Here, let's use some clean free care. Nothing worse than coolant on the hands. I don't know, is this stuff good for the skin? I don't know. You gotta clean it off though. Otherwise it gets everywhere. You ask any mechanic anywhere, but there are two things they hate playing with the most. Coolant and hydraulic oil. <laughs> I think, anyway. If I was a mechanic, that's what I would hate the most. Coolant, it gets everywhere. You track it everywhere. It just takes forever to get off of things. And hydraulic oil, same thing just gets into your skin although it is a good skin treatment well here's hoping I don't like the looks of those clamps they're not going to do the job properly but it's Sunday there's nothing open and there are too many truck stops that carry those big clamps round two so oh this stuff's good what are you talking about good for the fungus, eh? Actually, hold on a sec. No, don't do that. Don't do that. So, yeah. I'm just kind of thinking on my way where I'm going to hit. I was really hoping to be into Kansas tonight. I might still be able to if these clamps hold up. If I can get to Colby, the petrol there, they got some bigger stuff, so maybe they'll have a clamp. If not, at least in the morning. Uh, there's a shop right there, right on site at the Petro in Colby, Kansas. And then if not, we will uh, see where the old girl lets me lie, I guess. Definitely going to be on a little more vigilant. As to what we got going on. Uh, putting everything away, so. Things like this, you know, even though they're bad, they're good. Because then you can also see what you need in here. So I noticed I need a couple other things. So. And I got too much of other things. Like, why do I have... 200 feet of air hose. I don't know. 200 feet of air hose, but not enough hose clamps. That makes no sense. And I don't have an air to air clamp. That's almost a given, isn't it? You should always have an air to air clamp. And now, you know, this clamp, it's made in Mexico, so I think just like my truck. The six year mark, you know, everything starts going, so I'm gonna have to uh, pick up some new clamps and I might actually just replace them when I get to Houston. I'll replace all the clamps.
Sorry, a little belly shot there. Ooh, smell good. Yeah, so I'll replace all the clamps, I'm thinking. But hey, you know, we'll see. We'll see where my body takes me. Yeah, you got to do some stuff, preventive stuff, but it's winter back home. And them golf clubs, they call my name and they're so loud when they're calling. Anyway, hopefully this works out good. I'll keep you informed. I'll let you know what's happening. Holy cow, what a day. It's Sunday. Let's get going. Let's have a better trip. Bye for now.